Hi, I'm Christopher Brennan with the Muscle Doc Method, and today I'm going to demonstrate um, how to effectively treat headaches and migraines using myofascial techniques. So, we're going to start with our patient in a prone position, and we're really going to be focusing primarily here at the, the base of the neck moving through the neck and the upper, tra uh, upper trap area. When patients come in dealing with migraines and headaches, uh, oftentimes there's a tremendous amount of neck tension and trap tension associated with that too. So we're gonna start with primarily focusing on resolving and allevi alleviating some of that discomfort. Now I like to move through this area using just uh, you know very standard basic effrage uh, technique, moving from the neck outwards, uh, moving through this uh, trapezius. Then I like to switch sides, come down here, working a bit more of the anterior portion of the trap, moving up along the scalenes a little bit. And right now I'm definitely starting to investigate what is going on uh, within the soft tissue. Start to notice where I feel tension, where I feel trigger points. Starting to really get in, attuned uh, to what's going on in her body. And I'll work on this area for a few minutes to loosen it up. And then I'm going to pull the hair back to get exposure to the base of the skull here. I'm gonna start from the uh, spine and move laterally. Just using the uh, finger pads right here and moving in circular motion around the base of the skull. This really feels wonderful to uh, just about everybody that you work on. Um, a lot of us experience uh, neck tension uh, here in the uh, posterior aspect of the uh, neck. And if you're, you know, a person that, uh, sit, if, if you sit in a, uh, at an office desk for long periods of time, or anything like that and uh, certain postures are going to certainly lead to more aggravation in this area. Again, just working circular motions around the base of the skull working up to this uh, mastoid process right here. And then when you find a, a good you know, yummy spot, and usually that will be between the mastoid process and the uh, spinous process of the cervical spine, about halfway, you'll get to this uh, acupuncture point here. And that just feels really good to uh, you know massage out Again, working in circular motions. Then we move back down to this trap, give this area a little break, 
flush that energy you know out of the area And I'll typically spend about five minutes on each side of the neck. Working through this trapezius area, and then moving back up to the base of the skull here. to the scalings and just using the pads of my fingers moving in circular motions being mindful of how your client is responding to the amount of pressure that you're using Yeah, if you're enjoying this video so far, if you can go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button, I'd really appreciate it. It does help support the channel. So now with the uh, patient lying in a supine position, we're really going to be focusing on the, uh, the scalenes, possibly the SCM. We're going to be working in here through uh, a lot of the muscles of the head and the jaw. But we're going to go ahead and start right here on the scalenes and start to uh, do our effarage motion. I'm just using the pad of my thumb, I'm just gently going down, you know, through this tissue. It is very sensitive uh, area to work on, so you know you don't want to apply too much pressure too quickly. And if you remember, uh, this was the right side and through uh, working on the soft tissue, we noticed on the right side, there was a lot more tension around this uh, mastoid process on the right side compared to the left. So we're gonna start by shortening the muscle, placing our thumb right here about mid scaling, and then we're gonna move laterally away from that affected side gliding gently over that muscle tissue, lengthening it. So I'm noticing a lot of tension in this SCM. So we're going to do an advanced myofascial technique here in a, mo um, in a moment. So with this SEM technique, what we want to do is have your client slide to rest their head off the table. And I'm taking and supporting her head with my left arm securely. What we're going to be doing is we're going to shorten that SEM by lifting your head and having it look away from the treated side. And then we're going to lengthen it this way, laterally towards the treated side. Now what I'm gonna do is take my two fingers right here and wrap it right around that SCM. Now you don't need too much pressure, you're just, just firmly pinching that muscle. We're going to start in the shorted position and then we're going to move it out and glide along 
that area right there. Again, making a little V, Dr. Spock here, going on the outside of this SCM muscle. You can see I'm pinching it right there. Laterally rotating the head opposite of the treated side. And that's lengthen that muscle and rotate the head towards the treated side. How does that feel? Really good. Good, wonderful. And one more time. Good. You can learn this and more in my advanced myofascial courses. The uh, information is in the description below. So, for this next technique, especially since she's experiencing a lot of her discomfort in the base of the skull. What we want to do is use the pads of her fingers back here and we're going to be crawling upwards with our fingers along the posterior aspect of the neck. So we're going to take both hands, we're going to have uh, her head rested in the palms of my head. I'm taking my fingertips down here by the uh, lower portion of the neck and we're just going to crawl up that tissue. Because what we're going to do here in a moment is going to feel absolutely amazing. We're now going to come to the base of the skull press up with our fingertips, we're going to rotate the head back and we're going to ask her to just relax her head and let it go and tip it back. How good does that feel? So good. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. Now we want to move up to the head and face and jaw. We're going to start right here with the temporal muscles. And just using the pads of my fingers, we're going to start to massage through this area. Now what's great about uh, all of acupuncturists out there is you also can use this as part of your treatment to really see where that chi and blood is stagnant and where you specifically want to insert your needles. You know, investigating what's going on here in this, uh, you know, GB channel area um, and be more precise and strategic with your needle placement just based on, you know, what we found. And working through all of this, just through circular motions. Definitely noticing a lot of tension in this tissue. Come down to the jaw. Not too much pressure, just investigating, seeing if, uh, you know, how the muscle tissue of the jaw is. Um, you know, sometimes people's jaw alignment are out and that's what's contributing to their neck pain or their headaches. So you're also trying to, you know, rule things out. We're going to massage through all this tissue and these channels. Now right below the ear and between the manual, we have this area right here. I have the edge of the jaw right here and I'm going to take my finger gently because you have a nerve in this area. We're going to massage through this. I'm up around the ear here and investigate what's going on in there. Move through. Again back here. Okay. 
Now we're going to move through the forehead, seeing how things feel in here. And you do have a point directly with the midline of the, of the eye in here. I want to say it's GB14. I could be totally wrong. Don't hold me to that. Um, I just know the area. I don't need to you know, know the point number right now. But um, yeah, this feels really good. I think you have access to a sinus cavity in there too, but you can spend some time. I'm just using the pad of my finger to just move through that. Spend a little bit of time there. Working through the forehead here. Feeling how it feels in that area. Getting a sense of what's going on with the chi and stagnation in there. Working a little bit in that yin tang area. And moving towards this left side. And again, right in that area above the uh, in line with the midline of the of the eye. Certainly can select some distal uh, GB points, um, stomach meridian points. Now we're going to move to this left side. Nice circular motions through it. I feel like I'm coming off like Bob Ross. <laughs> to me, it's uh, the look on her face is just classic. She's just like, oh my god, it's amazing. <laughs> good, good. Good, good. Let it be uh, conveyed. Yeah. Because I know it is good. And I'm, I'm happy it's good. It feels so good. <laughs> good. And yeah, we're working all through this uh, left temporal region. With her, there's a lot of stagnation going on. Um, can I share just a little bit with an accident? I'm not, yeah. not going to say the accident, That's but right. like, um, so with her, there's a significant amount of uh, stagnation going on. She was uh, unfortunately in a horrible accident uh, that caused a, a lot of uh, brain injury. So um, she's been dealing with it, uh, and it's been a long recovery, but she's doing amazing. Um, but you know that residual you know trauma is in this area so that's where we want to work on it break all this shit up i don't know if i'm allowed to cuss on youtube but break all this up what we want to do is we're going to work around the the nose and here into the uh, upper bridge of the uh, eye socket here. So I'm taking the pad of my index finger. I'm starting right here and I'm gliding over that ridge. Like right here is bone, right here is eye. We're moving along that bone area and getting that muscle tissue and that attachment there. And then we're going to work we're going to find that sinus cavity right there, uh, UB, uh, UB2, and we're going to massage in there. Now be careful, if you've ever pressed that area on yourself, it's very nervy, but it feels good to work on, especially when you have you know, stagnation going on in the area. And you come over here above the midline here on the eyebrow, so midline of the eye at the eyebrow. We're going to find that other little hole in there, and we're going to spend some time massaging that. We're going to come along there. And one more time, getting in, feeling for that little depression in there. Take your index finger, real gently move around, find that depression. Apply some circular motions. You could even press, let go, press, let go. We're going to move along this area, flush that out one more time. And let's come to this other side. Okay, now we're going to take that index finger, sliding along that area.
find that depression. That's some intentional circular motions in there. Come up here and try to find the other depression. Here's to give me more acupuncture uh, points um, as options if I wanted to add that into the treatment today. So selecting, you know, distal points on the hands and feet and then selecting some local points just based on my, uh, my findings. Good. Now we're going to take our thumb and we're going to be working this lower border here. You can feel the bone and we have the eye socket right here. So we're going to start by the bridge of the nose here and we're just going to slide over that. Being mindful not to apply too much, you know, any pressure on the eyeball itself. Just rolling along that bone. And we'll come over to this other side. Do that same thing too. Good. Now we'll come down here. Go underneath, just flush that out. Same thing on this side. Good. Now those are some myofascial techniques that you can use to effectively treat headaches, migraines, um, any type of head and neck tension um, to really get you some significant clinical results and keep your uh, you know clients feeling good and um, yeah so if you enjoyed this video please go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button check out my course uh, links in the description and I'll see you in the next episode